This video will demonstrate the proper installation techniques for the air cell transline and air cell radiating 50 ohm connectors using a drill mounted power cable prep tool on all half inch, 7 eighths, inch and a quarter, and inch and 5 eighths diameter cables. This connector is compatible with all Trilogy's air cell transline and air cell radiating cables. For this installation, you will need the air cell all-in-one power cable prep tool, a cordless power drill, hacksaw, razor knife, file, small ruler or wire, abrasive pad, permanent marker, and adjustable wrenches. To get started, be sure to hold the cable at a downward angle throughout the entire process to avoid any shards or debris from entering the cable length. Locate the first dielectric disc by inserting a small ruler or wire into the cable end. Mark the location on the jacket surface. For 7 8 inch cable, cut just in front of the disc. For half inch, inch and a quarter, and inch and 5 8 cut just behind the disc. Cut cable squarely using a hacksaw. Ensure that the cable is straight for at least 10 inches from the end. For 7 8 and half inch diameter cables, remove two and a half inches of jacket and tape. For inch and a quarter and inch and five eighths diameter cables, remove five inches. Using a razor knife, remove the jacketing and any tape. Make sure not to cut through the outer conductor. Once the bare outer conductor has been exposed, use the drill mounted all-in-one power cable prep tool before mounting the cable prep tool on the drill, remove the jacket strip blade from the cable prep tool with the hex key provided with the tool. This will be the first blade that would come in contact with the cable and is located closest to the tool opening where the cable is to be inserted. Next, slide the drill mounted cable prep tool onto the cable end and operate in a clockwise direction. Continue until the tool no longer cuts away material and remove the prep tool while still in motion. Now, remove any air dielectric disc from the center conductor using a razor knife. Next, deburr the center conductor with a file and remove any remaining adhesive with an abrasive pad. Do not use a razor knife to remove the adhesive. Finally, tap the cable to ensure no debris remains in the cable end. Moving forward, please confirm these connector components, the front nut, compression sleeve, and back nut. Next, slide the back nut of connector onto the cable, then slide on both of the compression sleeve components. Next, slide the front nut of the connector onto the center conductor and hand tighten the two pieces together by holding the front nut stationary while turning the back nut only. Continue tightening using the adjustable wrenches until the connector reaches a positive stop. Use short tightening strokes to maintain torque perpendicular to the connector and cable. Never use wrenches with channel locks, as they can damage the connector body and lead to corrosion. When weatherproofing, ensure that the seal starts with the front nut of the connector and extends at least 2 inches past the jacket. The most reliable connector termination process in the industry is now complete.